Hi friends, now we are going to show you how you can stop a debugger on a function model. Okay, so I'll go to this ME22N transaction. Okay, and here is the purchase order number. And here again, I'll put slash H, okay, to start the debugging. And here I'll make a change, okay, to, so I'll change the quantity to two and I'll save it now. And now here, I will click on create breakpoint and I'll click, click on function and here I'll paste this function model where I want to stop it. Okay, and I'll click continue and now I will hit continue here. See, it has stopped into this function model and from here you can see what is the parameter that is being passed and everything. Okay, so very, very, very very essential things you can get from here so you can double click on this you can see what are the items that will be passed okay so if i click on f7 that means it will just go away from here you can find what are the data that was getting passed out so here you can see all this information that is getting passed okay so this is very very essential and you will use it all the time so this covers everything on how you can stop the debugger on a function mode.